6-72. Represent the tile pattern below with a table, a rule, and a graph. Okay, so let's see. We've got figure one, and we've got figure two, and we've got figure three, and it looks like they're increasing. <clears throat> okay, so if you'll go back to our chapter four, four toolkit, you'll remember that if we can figure out what figure zero is, and if we know how much is being added each time, then we will be able to put together with those two pieces of information, we'll be able to put together the rule and we'll be able to put together the table and we will know how to draw the graph. Okay, so we're going to do all of those, but first we're going to start by figuring out what is, what is the growth and then can we work backwards and find out what figure zero is. Okay, so um, the best thing we can do now is we can count up these. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and start a table here because I know I'm going to have X and I'm going to have Y and I'm going to leave a space for figure zero because we need to figure that out. And I'll go ahead and put in figure one, figure two, and figure three. And so with figure one, we counted and we know we have six tiles. And now with figure two, it looks like we've got one, two, three, four, five. So five on the top and then four on the bottom. So nine total. So nine there. And then here we've got four plus two is six. And then on the bottom here, we have six more. So that's a total of 12. All right, so we need to um, figure out what the difference is in the um, Y values. And it looks like every time we increase X by one, we add three in Y's. So every time we're adding three. So if we want to work backwards to um, what figure zero is, this time we'll have to subtract three to get three. Okay, so that fits the pattern because every time we increase x by one, we're adding three. Okay, so now we know what figure zero is and we've already built our table. So the next thing we'll do is build our rule and our rule goes by the form y equals mx plus b. And if we go back to this and take a look, we know that m is representing the growth. And so the amount that we increase our tiles by is three and so we know that m is going to be a three so let's start writing this so it's plus three so it's three times x and then we need to find b and we know that b is always figure zero so if we go and see what figure zero is it's three so now we have the rule. Okay, and the last thing that we'll want to do is create the graph. 